Hello, everyone. It's a pleasure that you are watching our video. My name is Luis Alberto Pisano. I come from Colombia. And with me is Alex. Hi. We're both studying at the RWTH Aachen University in Germany, more or less just as about far west in Germany as you can get, just short of the Belgian and the Dutch border. And we're both studying applied geosciences in our master's here. Or actually, as you probably can guess from the snow outside here, I'm not in Aachen at the moment. I graduated in January and since then I live in the very north of Sweden in the cold and dark and snowy parts of the world. It's an amazing hub for mining, right? Oh, yeah. I am in Freiburg. I unfortunately have not graduated. No, just kidding. It's, it's a great thing to study, but I'm actually working half time in a company, in a consultants, consultancy company that deals with uh, pretty much with economic geology, but it's a little bit more on the digital part. So, Louis, what made you get into geology for starters? <laughs> Well, it all started in, in Colombia, and I actually started studying as a mechanical engineer. I did graduate as a mechanical engineer, but also as a geoscientist. And fortunately, I had the, had the opportunity to follow one of my passions that I had as a kid, which was not only Making collecting rocks. rocks, yeah, collecting rocks, but also trying to figure out, okay, why the rocks had different colors. And through that path, I actually found out that the colors were not only the colors that you see that they were like, uh, I don't know, from quartz or uh, feldspar, but actually they could be more shiny. And that's why I started checking a little bit more on economic geology. What about you, Alex? How's your story? I actually also started off as an engineer, as an electrical engineer. Sure in Aachen, which I then gave up after one semester because although the program had a very fa fancy name, <laughs> a sustain engineering and sustainable energy systems, it actually turned out there was everything you had to do was something with maths. You had calculus and algebra one, two, four, and you had physics, which is math, then you had electrical engineering, which is maths, then you had computer sciences, which is maths, then you have mathematical methods in electrical engineering, which is Maths, you guessed it. Math. <laughs> so I wanted to stay on this more sustainable approach, trying to make the world a better place without sound, sounding too naive, but I'm guessing that's hard to do when saying that sentence. And of a, more importantly, something more practical. So I uh, just skimmed through the program what, what, what's being offered in Aachen as I was too lazy to move somewhere else uh, and came across <laughs> geology and I did my bachelor's then first in something that's called geo resource management in Aachen where you get a bit of geology but you also get some law aspects and some economical aspects and some resource economics especially then before then moving on to uh, mineral resources for my masters That's and now cool. that i've graduated i just started as a job here a month and a half two months ago now time <laughs> does move quick when you don't have any sun uh, as a geologist at a gold mine in northern sweden nice that's that's pretty cool and are you happy right now working in the mining industry? It's a very nice place to work, especially what I'm doing. I'm more or less logging, core logging all day. And it's like being out in the field, only you're inside in, a, in the core shed. It's maybe 14 degrees in winter, but at least you're not out in the snow. You got your hot chocolate, you have your your lunch there and you can you like have an outcrop just in front of your table in front of you on the table the entire day and you don't really have to move much there's no mosquitoes there's no snakes there's no ticks whatsoever but anyway you like have a fresh outcrop every day on the table and it's very nice but i guess i'd also would like to go out a bit more into the field and maybe that's true and even you get to see this pretty cool case the other day you were showing me about the shilite oh yeah had this big shilites, which is for some 
in some parts associated with the gold here, not in all parts. The deposit is very complex or strange, depending on how you wish to formulate it. But we're trying to solve the puzzle of where the gold is meter by meter, drilling meter by drilling meter. Do you go out much in the field working on that digital geology stuff? Ah, no, you, of course you wanted to rub that on my face, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, in my case, uh, I do definitely stay on the office. It's another type of approach in this economic geology area, which I also consider quite interesting, which is all those uh, new technologies around or revolving around machine learning and especially on mineral predictive mapping. So unfortunately, at the beginning, that's not that much uh, going into the field, but uh, I think that's also pretty cool about economic geology that gives so many options around that is, okay, either you can stay in the office, go to the field, or even you can also do both. And that's something pretty cool from the job that I am right now, that there is also the possibility to go to the field. And I also found out that not even like, even with all these new technologies, uh, these technologies will not kick away the exploration geologist because at the end there has to be always uh, someone that checks the results. So yeah, unfortunately right now I don't go much to the field, but I guess through the winter I would not be so happy going into the field, but I definitely miss it. So yeah, I think that was the story of both of us. And I don't know if you want to add something else. Otherwise, I guess I can say that I would definitely recommend the people to keep the path that they chose in economic geology, that there is still a lot to be discovered, a lot to be learned, and we need fresh minds. I agree. And I just want to say thank you to the NUI SUG chapter for organizing this thing. Great going. Thank you very much.